Are you serious? Are you serious? The water's turning red. The water's turning red like blood. What? This is a biblical prophecy alert. A lagoon has turned blood red in, uh, after a major tropical storm hit Mexico. The next day, the water turned completely blood red uh, in just uh, there in a lagoon in Mexico. It's an incredible. You, uh, it's, it, people are shocked. They've never seen anything like this before. Uh, but some type of phenomenon that has caused the, the entire lagoon to turn completely blood red. Now there's micro, they said that after the storm fast, the, the, the conditions of the water was, was perfect for a outrageous fast, sudden growth of microorganisms to change the water blood red. But, but scientists are puzzled and baffled by it because they have never seen anything happen that fast. Not like that, not overnight, no. Usually it takes days for the microorganisms to, you know, what you call a red tide, or you can also have water turn blood red due to algae blooms. But this, was, this is a phenomenon. Now the Bible does talk about water turning blood red in the last days. If you go to Revelation chapter eight, the Bible says um, in Revelation Chapter 8, verse 6, it says, The seven angels which had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded, there followed hail and fire mingled with blood. And they were cast upon the earth, and the third part of the trees were burnt up, and all the green grass was burnt up. And the sec So there was a storm. And then the second angel sounded, as it were a great mountain, burning with fire, cast into the sea. And a third part of the sea became blood. Now that's from a definitely an asteroid, a deep impact. We don't have that here. But then it says the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died. And the third part of the ships were destroyed. And then the Bible says a third angel sounded. There fell a great star from heaven, uh, burning as it were a lamp. It fell upon the third part of the rivers and the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became wormwood, and many men died uh, of the waters because they're made bitter. Now, that event is what I call the two deep impacts of the Bible found in Revelation 8, 8. Uh, but that's not what we have here. We do have, though, the water turning blood red, which the Bible did say would happen. The Bible says it will happen also that, the, that there will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars distress of nations with perplexity the sea the waves will be roaring men's hearts will fail them for fear for looking after those things coming upon the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken there's other scriptures in the bible that says that the sun will be darkened and the moon will turn to blood before the great and terrible day of the lord so there's a lot of signs that you'll see in the last days but water turning blood red is a sign that you're moving into an apocalyptic time now I wouldn't say that with every time the water turns blood red, that it's some kind of a apocalyptic sign. This one, though, never seen it before. Not like this. Not this quick. Not this unbelievable. Not this color so bright. And it happened overnight. Uh, a phenomenon, certainly baffling even scientists. But we're living in the end times where the water is going to turn blood red. Okay? The water will turn blood red. And we're witnessing it once again uh, for the 38th time in the last eight years, somewhere in the world, where mysteriously, in some cases, the water turns blood red and there's no, there's no algae. And that's why I, I only count the ones that have uh, just really no explanation. For instance, when the river in Beirut, Lebanon, ran blood red for three straight days, for no ex nobody can explain it. Three days and nights, the water ran blood red in Beirut, Lebanon. Right through the city, okay? What about when the Yangtze River in China turned blood red? It was incredible. Nobody saw that one coming either. And the lake in Texas turned blood red and stayed that way for six weeks. Unbelievable. And a creek in the Netherlands that turned blood red that ran behind a church. No one can explain it. These phenomenons, the, and now you have this lagoon in Mexico turning blood red overnight after a storm. Just saying, we're living in the times. You got to stay awake. There's a lot going on. And mainly because, the listen, Jesus Christ is going to return 
He's going to come get the saints of God. Keep an eye on what's going on. The Bible told us to watch and pray. For an hour you think not the Son of Man would come. And that's why we were in church last night at Solid Rock Church in Birmingham, Alabama. Had a great time with Bishop Clint Brown preaching a powerful message. The reason we're watching and the reason we're serving the Lord and the reason we're just praising God is because we know we're ready to go. But the question is, are you ready to go? Have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Because I can tell you something. He's coming soon. Don't miss my live broadcast today. I'll be live at 12 noon Eastern on my backup YouTube channel, which is the Paul Begley Prophecy Channel. Go to YouTube, hit the search bar, go to Paul Begley Prophecy Channel, scroll down, you'll find it. There's a Bible with my hand on it. Click there. That's the channel. See it 12 noon. Are you serious? 